Hey everybody, I'm going to be making a quick little Pinguicula propagation demonstration. I forget if I've done this or not, so I'm just going to do another one. And also, so show off the flower a bit. This will be for Pinguicula gigantea, but it's applicable to many Pinguiculas. I don't know about all of them, because I've only grown five species, so this works for Morinensis and gigantea. So, you want to find a good leaf, preferably a bottom one. And you want to go in there and just kind of push down, push down and then twist side to side and then you'll get the leaf. Now this, this leaf's older so it came off a bit easier so usually the younger leaves are attached harder so try and get an older leaf that's not rotting. Also treat this plant like a baby, really be gentle. Because the whole thing will collapse in your hands and you'll have a bunch of leaves. The plant will be dead and you'll have to start it from clones again if you're not careful. But yeah, it's very easy to start. You need the the tip to be intact. I don't know if you can see that right where the plant was attached. See that little bit there. And then basically I'll use this pot as a demonstration area. You just kind of lay the leaf on top of some potted material. Right here I have sphagnum moss, living sphagnum moss with peat underneath it. So you can use anything. They can even be put in a plastic bag and they will sprout. So once you see a little nub come off the area that was attached to the plant, you make sure you know, it'll come out from right there. You make sure that that's facing up and then see if I can show you an example. Um, hmm. No, I don't have any right now. It'll, it's like uh, Echeverias. Basically just... Um, yeah, you just let it sit there for a week or two.